Hello. Welcome to Batman Europe and thank you for joining us today for our Autumn 2021 British Railway Announcements. We have some exciting developments to unveil today, including several new club models and benefits as well. We'll tell you about those later on, so keep watching to find out more. And of course, full details will be in the next Batman Times magazine, which is on its way to club members now. Before we unveil our new products for this autumn, the summer months have been very busy here at Batman, so let's have a quick recap of what's been going on. In June, we were delighted to announce that we have teamed up with GB Rail Freight to produce models of their exciting new Class 69 diesel locomotives. Due to the unique nature of this project and the agreements required to bring these models to market, this announcement falls outside of our usual three month window. But we are thrilled nonetheless to confirm that models are in development for both the Batman Branch Line and Graham Farish ranges. We look forward to sharing further details as the models develop. The new arrivals have continued to flow with the N-Class locomotive by Graham Farish released with sound fitted for the first time. The sound fitted model carries SR Morsel Green livery with SR Black and Weathered BR Lime Black also available, both of which feature Next18 DCC decoder sockets and a pre-fitted speaker. Also in N-Scale, we have seen the release of the Class 108 DMU, with a sound fitted 3 car model offered for the first time. This example carries the classic livery of BR Green with speed whiskers. Two further versions are offered in BR Blue and BR White and Blue colour schemes. Although they won't be available until early next year, development of the Graham Farish Class 319 EMU took a major step forward this summer when we received the livery samples for these stunning models. First unveiled in the Batman Times, we took a closer look on our website back in June, so be sure to check them out too. In double O scale, the all new Disc Head Code Class 24s from Batman Branch Line were unveiled in our previous British Railway announcements, and two of the four versions are available now. The two BR Green machines were the first to arrive, with the BR Blue model on its way and due to arrive at the end of this month, alongside the ever popular RTC Loco number 97201 Experiment. Also unveiled earlier this year, and another model that has been developed from scratch is the original Class 20. And the first example of this has also arrived in number 2227, which carries Rail Freight Red Stripe livery. The sound fitted version docks later this month, but there has been a small delay to the BR Green and BR Blue models. This is a result of delays in the supply of the warm white LEDs required for the head code lights. Despite this, all versions should be available during the autumn months. Another new tooling project that has come to fruition this summer is the Batman Branch Line 4BEP 4 Car EMU. Building on the success of the multi award winning 4 SEP, the BEP features a new catering vehicle which is accurately modelled with Mark 1 bogies for the BR Green liveried model, whereas the later blue and grey version is fitted with Commonwealth bogies. The much awaited Class 150 DMUs have been released in the popular liveries of GWR and Northern. The former includes fitted passenger figures, whilst both models have undergone modifications to accurately portray the work undertaken on the real units to provide accessible toilets. Another feature of these new DMUs is the inclusion of a functional BSI coupling which clips into the NEM coupling pocket, allowing these models to be coupled to other units such as the latest Batman Branch Line Class 158s. For the steam enthusiast, the GWR Modified Hall has been released as number 6998 Burton Agnes Hall and in preserved condition as 6990 with a slack hall. Two LMS Jubilees have also arrived with Ceylon sporting BR's striking experimental green livery whilst Hood carries BR lined green with late crest and yellow cab side stripe. Hood is also offered with sound fitted. The coming months are set to see a number of limited edition projects come to fruition, one of which has already arrived. The first of the model centre's 24 and a half ton mineral wagons arrived back in June and further supplies of these superb models will be with TMC at the end of August. So please contact them directly to discuss your requirements. Two locomotives from the National Collection are set to arrive this quarter, starting with LNWR Improved Precedent Hardwick. Produced by Batman for locomotion models in partnership with Rails of Sheffield, Rails will also be offering three further versions of the Improved Precedent covering the locomotives in LNWR and LMS service. Rails' limited edition Class 812 locomotive should also arrive this autumn. The LNER V2 Green Arrow is set to appear, with locomotion models offering this icon in both LNER Apple Green and BR Lined Green. Likewise, the two V2s commissioned by Rails of Sheffield are also set for an autumn release. Three versions of the V2 will be arriving with Batman Stockist this autumn, with sound fitted examples of each also en route. New coaches and wagons continue to arrive, and the highlight for many will be the latest examples of the BR Mark IIFs. 
with liveries including Virgin Trains, Intercity Swallow and Scott Rail on offer. Take your experience to the next level by opting for our DCC onboard coaches, which include lighting, controlled by the built-in DCC decoder. Whilst every model is packed with detail and finished with our usual high standard of livery application, DCC onboard models also feature interior and door interlock lights, plus working tail lights which can easily be configured to suit your requirements. Sound fitted versions of the Batman Narrow Gauge 009 scale Baldwins have been released along with our new steel bogey coaches in a choice of two liveries. We also recently received the first engineering prototypes for the much awaited Quarry Hunslet locomotives. These models are shaping up very nicely indeed and for the first look at these be sure to check out the autumn edition of the Batman Times. Backman's Lilliput brand is famed for producing high quality, award winning models of continental prototypes, but a recent release has real appeal to British modellers too. Lilliput's new model of the Zillital Barn U Class No. 2 Zillital depicts the locomotive which is currently resident at the Welshpool and Hlanfair Railway in Wales. Produced in HOE scale, the continental equivalent of British 009, the model is available now and can be ordered from your local Batman stockist. The latest addition to Woodland Scenic's extensive range of scenery is the innovative utility system. With our first supplies now on the way and set to arrive this autumn, the utility system is sure to be popular with modellers looking for a quick, easy and effective way of adding this crucial element to their layout. With products suitable for N, O and O scale, these pre-wired poles come with either single or double crossbars. Transformer connect sets and very impressive pre-built substation are also offered. Contact your local Batman stockist to order yours and be one of the first to incorporate this fantastic new system into your layout. Moving on to our new announcements for Autumn 2021, we have several new additions to the Scenecraft range in Ensco. Scenecraft models are all highly detailed and hand decorated, making them the perfect addition to any layout or diorama. First up is the return of the carriage shed. This structure offers an instant impact and can just as well be used as a DMU or EMU facility. On a similar theme, the depot mess room and toilet makes a welcome return, along with the portable office. Whilst the new four lever open ground frame is essential for controlling movements in and around any depot, yard or branch line. For station scenes, add a little nostalgia with the platform book stand and finally, for anyone modelling a rural setting, the red brick walls and gates make a welcome return. For the Graham Farish N scale range, we are delighted to announce three new versions of the LMS 50 foot inspection saloon. First up, we have M45046 in BR maroon livery with black ends. This is joined by a further model in the popular BR blue and grey paint scheme. Completing the trio is a new livery not previously offered on this model, Intercity Swallow. We have new wagons in N scale too with the 45 tonne TTA tank wagon appearing in Amoco grey livery. In the new Batman Times magazine, Peter Fiduc looks at the history of the LMS 20 tonne brake vans, and this coincides nicely with the addition of two further versions to the Graham Farris range. The model appears in NCB blue livery for the first time, complete with weathered finish, whilst this is joined by an example in engineers grey and yellow. Also of interest to N-scale modellers will be a new addition to the model maker range, the new N-scale loco crank pin box spanner, is an essential part of any modeler's toolkit, and this handy tool will make short work when it comes to changing the traction tyres on your cherished Graham Farish steam locomotives. We have a small number of new products for the EFE rail range this autumn, and the 00 scale Adams 02 steam locomotive takes centre stage. First up is number 182 in SR Monsell Green livery. In the vibrant SR Malachite Green livery is number 34 Newport, whilst the same colour scheme, albeit with British Railways wording, Adorns number 31, Chael. Four new versions of the popular PBA Tiger Wagons will also be available, including two new models with a pristine finish and two more in weather condition. New additions for the Scenecraft 00 scale range this autumn start with a station theme as we welcome back the low relief underground station. Next, we have the station cafe along with a pair of platform ramps, ideal to use with either the curved or straight platforms. Moving away from the station, the impressive modern servicing depot will be available again, along with a pack of two plastic bunded tanks, an ideal addition to a depot scene for use as oil or fuel storage. Our great central collection continues to be popular, and we are delighted to welcome back both the water column and arm, and the water tower to the Scenecraft range. 
Complementing these nicely is the pack of two Great Central Lamp Huts. Completing the lineup for Autumn 2021 is a new low relief pub, the Dacre Arms, plus a low relief model of the well known Gothland Hotel, famous for its starring role as the Aidensfield Arms in the hit period drama Heartbeat. We are delighted to announce sound fitted versions of the popular J72 tank locomotives from the Batman Branch Line 00 scale range. First built by the North Eastern Railway and classified as E1s, we start with number 2173 in NER line green livery. Following grouping in 1923, the locos came under ownership of the LNER and were classified as J72s. An LNER black livery with red lining is number 2313. J72s continued to be built by both the LNER and BR and we have two models covering the BR era, number 68733 with early emblem and number 68696 with late crest. Like all Batman sound fitted models, the sounds will play when the models are used on analog control as well as DCC. What's more, these models also feature firebox lighting for added realism, which too can be enjoyed on analog or DCC. Adding to the wagon fleet, we have two new three plank open wagons. For era three modelers, we have a new version in GWR grey, which looks particularly nice carrying a BD container load, also in GWR colors, whilst an unladen version is finished in BR grey livery. We also have a 00 scale loco crank pin box spanner from Model Maker, which will make changing wheel sets or traction tyres on models such as the Midland Class 1532 and the forthcoming Improved Precedent, a breeze. And now for the icing on the cake of our Autumn 2021 British Railway announcements, I'm joined by Dave Parsons. Hello. You might remember Dave from our Class 47 video earlier this week, and if you hadn't guessed already, up next is our new Batman Branch Line Class 47 diesel locomotive. We have a brand new brush for you, we've started from scratch, you might have seen the video where we detail everything that uh, goes into this groundbreaking new model, if not people really need to go back yes, and, uh, and have a look because we go over every aspect of uh, what's gone into these, these wonderful machines, um, and we kick off today with the first five models. Our initial selection covers locomotives from their first years of service through to sectorisation, so hopefully there is something for everyone coming this autumn. Each of the five models will be available in three formats, standard, sound fitted and sound fitted deluxe. The standard models incorporate all of the correct details and variations applicable to the locomotive being portrayed, all of which is enhanced by the exquisite livery which is achieved using multiple paint applications printing processes and specialist finishing techniques using true to prototype colours, fonts and specification. On the technical side, standard models feature our new dual fitted speaker system, combining two different speakers for authentic sound reproduction and making it easy for consumers to fit their own sound decoder via the Plux22 DCC interface. The powerful 5 pole motor is fitted with twin flywheels and is connected to both bogies, giving drive to all 6 axles whilst all 12 wheels provide electrical pickup. Each axle is also fitted with a pair of metal bearings which locate within the diecast bogey tower to provide smooth and strong, reliable running. The lighting used on the real locomotives has been studied in great depth, with light colours and temperatures selected accordingly for each model, dependent on the specific lighting application and the prototype loco on which it is based. When operated on analogue control, lights that would be illuminated when the locomotive is in motion, namely the directional lights, including head code boxes and high intensity headlights where appropriate, illuminate when power is applied. The directional lights can be switched off at each end independently using the switches mounted underneath the model. With a Plux 22 decoder fitted and operating on a DCC system, additional lighting which is typically seen in use when the locomotive is stationary comes into play, with the model offering both cab lighting and engine room lighting for the first time. These features occupy three different functions, allowing the cab lights to be turned on and off independently of each other, whilst the engine room lights also work via their own dedicated function. Further DCC functions allow the directional lights at each end to be turned on and off independently too. Our sound fitted models incorporate all of these standard features, but with the ESU Locksound V5 DCC sound decoder also fitted to take full advantage of our dual fitted speaker system. The decoder is loaded with our own unique sound project, developed specifically for this new model and offers a multitude of sound effects including various engine starting sequences, 
multiple horns, which can be used configured, locomotive brakes, which serve to slow the model down in tandem with appropriate sound effects, and manual notching options, to name just a few. Highlighting the attention to detail that has been paid to every aspect of this model, any lights that are on will dim momentarily as the engine is started, just as would be observed on the real thing. For the ultimate experience, we are delighted to launch our new Class 47 in sound fitted deluxe format. Enjoying all the benefits of our sound fitted specification, sound fitted deluxe models incorporate two additional features, both of which break new ground for British outline models. First is the twin motorised fans, fitted only to our sound fitted deluxe models. The fans operate independently of the motor and are configured within the sound project, providing appropriate sound effects too. The fans can also be controlled on demand via a dedicated function. Another nice feature of our sound fitted deluxe models is the special treatment we've added to the cab front glazing. On the prototypes they had a gold film applied to the inside of the windows that was heated to demist the windows uh, and that resulted in quite a distinctive um, reflective colour uh, that you can see in quite a lot of photographs of the prototype. And We've replicated this with a special application onto the glazing that's just for the sound fitted deluxe models and we really think it sort of brings to life the, uh, the model and, and really adds to the effect. Oh, it looks superb and with the extra wipers there, it really, uh, really has the effect. It finishes it off nicely, doesn't it? It, it does. really, really, you know, it gives it an authentic replication of the, the process. Yeah. So each of these five models will be available in your standard sound fitted and sound fitted deluxe formats. Um, so let's take a look at the details specific to each of the five models, shall we, Dave? Yes, let's run through them all. First up, we have number D1565, which was built at BR Crew Works, characterised by the twin bracket arrangement visible at the top of the buffer beams. Modelled in as new condition, this Eastern Region machine entered traffic in March 1964 and sports twin arm windscreen wipers, original three piece radiator grills, ribbed exhaust panels, and the 1,250 gallon water tanks, complete with original water chutes. The bogies carry open frame cab steps and a stone speedo drive is fitted. With its Spanner Mark III boiler, the locomotive was suitably equipped for use on passenger workings as well as freight traffic. Delivery application uses the correct BR specification colours in all instances, including an accurate rendition of the prominent BR Sherwood green bodyside band. The head coat panels are a particular highlight and are decorated to portray the contrasting materials used for the blinds and the inner frame in which they sit. Moving into the tops era, we are delighted to offer number 47012 in BR Blue livery. Built in 1962, it is apparent that this is a brush built machine due to the single bracket cover along the top of the buffer beam and this locomotive was allocated to Bescott TMD from 1976 after receiving its top's number. Single arm windscreen wipers are fitted along with the circ radiator grills and the loco retains its spanner boiler. Ribbed exhaust panels and plated cab steps on the bogies are also seen. The slightly smaller 1,200 gallon water tanks are fitted along with the tank filler valves. With the alphanumeric head codes out of use, our model retains its glazed head code panels which now display the so-called domino head codes. The ever popular Intercity Swallow livery is next to join the lineup, and number 47828 is the locomotive of choice. Depicting a cook cab locomotive, this Class 474 ran like this from 1990 onwards when allocated to Bristol Bath Road. 
With its later style of extended range fuel tanks and electric train heating equipment attached to the buffer beam, the loco would have appeared around the UK on long distance intercity workings. On the roof, the Cirque radiator grills are fitted along with the ribbed exhaust panels and the boiler port on this locomotive has been plated over. Single arm windscreen wipers are fitted to this particular locomotive with the cab roof fence also partially plated and NRN aerials fitted. Bogies feature the plated corner cab steps and a slow speed speedo drive is present. Both cab ends have plated headco panels and seal beam markers are fitted to the number 2 end. High intensity headlights appear at both ends and these, along with the seal beams, include the characteristic vertical ribs on the lenses. Whilst rail freight locomotives are often modelled, construction sector machines can sometimes be overlooked, but not so with this new model of 47004, which carries this attractive livery. Built at Brush in 1963, we fast forward to 1990 and see that 47004 retains features such as the 1200 gallon water tanks with tank filler valves, its spanner boiler with a full cab roof vent, NRN aerials have been fitted in this Loco Sport Cirque radiator grills along with smooth exhaust panels. The headco panels have been plated with sealed beams fitted to the number 2 end and high intensity headlights at both. Bogey steps are once again plated and the stone speedo drive is present. Optional etched BR double arrows and Tinsley Rose depot plaques are supplied to enhance the model even further and yellow snow plows are included too. Completing our quintet is another Tinsley machine and a depot favourite in number 47375 which is named Tinsley Traction Depot. Quality approved. Along with its cut cab, the headco panels at the number 1 end have been plated whilst number 2 end have been made completely flush with two sealed beam marker lights fitted. High intensity headlights feature at both ends. This class 47.3 has the later style extended range fuel tanks and the bogies feature plated cab steps and checker plate kick plates have been fitted beneath each door. A slow speed speedo drive is also included to the bogies. The cab roof has NRN aerials whilst the radiator grills are of the Cirque variety. The exhaust panels are ribbed and the boiler port has been plated over. With 47375 already featuring an abundance of embellishments, the etched nameplates and Tinsley Depot plaques are also included for the ultimate appearance. Well thanks for going into details there Dave, a nice selection of 5 miles to kick us off with the new Class 47 and these will of course be arriving in shops within the next three months time. They will, it's been a pleasure and I've enjoyed joining you again for our next instalment of the British Railway announcements with um, lots more exciting news I hope. Whilst this project alone represents an investment of more than £1 million by Batman Europe, we know that's a worthwhile outlay in order to offer you a model that will set new standards unlike anything else on the market today. Production of the first five models, each in their three different formats, is nearing completion, with the first examples now made and ready to ship on our next consignment. As with all Batman products, when our new Class 47 start hitting the shelves in the next three months, you can visit your local Batman stockist and inspect them for yourself before purchasing. Prices for our all new Class 47 models start at $239.95, and like all Batman products, they must be purchased through one of our stockists. That means that with every purchase you make, you're supporting one of our retailers too. They really are a priceless asset to our wonderful hobby. We can also confirm that the models of number 47711, Greyfriars Bobby, and number 47435, which feature in the current Batman branch line range, will be manufactured using this new tooling, incorporating all of the wonderful new features and details too. Although these two models won't be arriving until next year, look out for further details in one of our upcoming British Railway announcements. Concluding our autumn announcements, we have some exciting news from the Batman Collectors Club. We are pleased to announce two new benefits for club members. 
the first of which is an additional year's warranty on all Batman branch line, Graham Farish by Batman, Batman Narrow Gauge, and UK Batman Thomas and Friends products exclusively for Batman Collectors Club members. As a club member, the standard warranty on products from these ranges will be extended by one year, providing the claim is accompanied by a proof of purchase from an authorised Batman stockist and that a valid membership is held at the time the claim is made. We know that our valued club members will appreciate this added peace of mind in the rare event they have a problem with a cherished Batman model. We always enjoy meeting members of the Batman Collectors Club, particularly at our annual Members Day, but with events like this on hold for the past 18 months, we've all missed these get-togethers. To make amends for this, we're delighted to announce details of our club-exclusive sales event, which will take place at the Great Central Railway on Sunday, the 26th of September. With refurbished and repaired models on offer at special prices, this is an event not to be missed and we have teamed up with the Great Central Railway so you can make a day of it with reduced price travel on the day for Batman Collectors Club members. Full details are published in the Autumn Batman Times or head over to the club website for more details or to join the club and secure your place. Our final act for today is to unveil our next Batman Collectors Club limited edition models. Based on the exceptional Batman Branch Line 00 scale BR Mark II F coaches, we are delighted to announce a trio of models in the much requested DRS Compass livery. We have produced two tourist second open vehicles along with a brake second open, allowing members to create authentic loco horde sets as seen on routes such as the Cumbrian Coast and Wherry Lines in East Anglia. Each of the three vehicles is available in standard format, where the highly detailed branch line model is brought to life by the striking DRS livery, or with DCC on board, and these models incorporate saloon, door interlock and tail lights, all controlled via the built-in decoder. With the models set to arrive by the start of September, and with only limited numbers of each produced, pre-orders can be placed to secure your models now. Well that brings an end to today's proceedings, and what feels like a bumper edition of British Railway announcements. Thanks for joining us, and remember to check out our new Class 47 video, which delves into the details of the all-new Batman Branch Line model. Head over to the club website, for more details about our extensive membership benefits and to pre-order your new DRS Mark II F coaches and be sure to contact your local Batman stockist to order any of the models announced today. Until next time, goodbye.